command the light of God to come right now. The light of God to come right now in Jesus' name. The light of God to come right now in Jesus' name. The light of God to come right now in Jesus' name. Let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. Every trace of darkness. Let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that's not of Jesus hiding in his body, in the name of Jesus Christ, we call the fire of the Holy Ghost on it right now, in Jesus' mighty name. We call the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. We call the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? What is in this body? What have you done to this woman? I've destroyed her. How did you destroy her body? I was with her since her birth. What else did you done? What else have you done to her? I've destroyed her family. How did you enter her body? When she was in a mother's womb. How many of you are there in her body? We are many. How many? We are many. We are legions. Your allegiance. Who is the main? I'm Lucifer. What else have you done to her finances, to her marriage, to her children? I've stole everything for her, from her family, every good things. What else? I've killed her father. You're responsible for the death of her father? Yeah. Evil spirit, you have made a great mistake by letting her come into this room, in, into this place. Because your end has come and your expiration time has come today in Jesus' name. And right now, every trace of darkness out of this body, we command it to be out in Jesus' mighty name. Out of this body in Jesus' mighty name. Every one of you out of her body, out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in Jesus' mighty name, out of every part of her body, in Jesus' mighty name. We command the light of God to come anywhere where there was darkness right now, in Jesus' mighty name. The light of God to come anywhere where there was darkness right now, in Jesus' mighty name. We declare you free today, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Madam, can, can you stand up? Can you stand up to your feet? Hello, um, you just mentioned that you're a Lucifer and that you're responsible for the death of your father. What is your name? Uh, my name is Jasmine. Jasmine? Yeah. So your name is not a Lucifer? No. And you did not kill your father? No, no. Did you know that there was an evil spirit that was operating in your life? Yeah. Okay. We believe today that through the word of Jesus Amen. that this evil spirit has been expelled you, and that you can thank live you, free Lord. today thank for the glory Jesus. of God. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you, God. I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you here today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you begin by telling us your name and where you're from? Oh, I'm from, uh, I'm Jasmine. Actually, I'm from Fiji, but I came to USA just in uh, January before I, uh, after I got married. And can you tell us what is the problem that brought you here to receive prayer with the anointing water? From my bed, I've been experiencing bad dreams and I've been experiencing that someone is following me. Uh, a black figure is always around me wherever I go, wherever I go. So, I, so because of him, I was tortured very badly and also my family. So people used to tell me, go here, go there. We are Indians and we worshipped idols before. We don't know anything about the truth about Christ. So we were, so we worshipped and worshipped our God, but nothing happened. And and uh, afterward, uh, we were going here and there to the to see the witchcraft doctors. We have seen many, many witchcraft doctors, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. And at last, I got vegetarian because in Indian culture, it is believed that when uh, when you leave the meat, when you become vegetarian. And then you are very pure, very holy, then God will answer you. But nothing like that happens. And when I was 26 years old, then someone came to me and told me about Jesus. And, and she told me that who Jesus is. She explained that who Jesus is. And when I heard her, 
I believed in Jesus and I said to her, okay, from next week I'll be, I, I'll be going to church. And from there I started to go to church. Can you tell us what was the problem that brought you here today to receive prayer? What kind of things were happening in your life that brought you to this point? I was tortured so much by the demon. Very, very much. I just can't express my suffering in more that how much he has uh, tortured me and my family. But before, I was in, in Christ, but I didn't know anything about uh, Prophet T.P. Joshua and his ministry. When I came to America, before coming to America, my husband told me, after the marriage, my husband told me about T.P. Uh, Robert T.P. T. B. Joshua. When I came to America, then I uh, learned more about him and his ministry and his ministry and when i knew him and his ministry that how powerful his ministry is then i started to pray god take me to uh, africa take me to africa i want to go to africa i want to go to africa and one day i mentioned this about to my husband and i asked him that can we go to africa then he told me about this place that jasmine you don't need to go to africa there's a good news church in uh, here we can go here and you can be delivered and from that time i started praying and fasting god i want to come here and i want to be get delivered and by the grace of god i'm here and thank god he delivered me i believe that he had delivered me so today as you are receiving that prayer with the anointing water do you remember anything that was happening to you at that time yeah i remembered everything but at that time i uh, i feel that someone is controlling over me someone is speaking through me i can i, I can hear what i'm saying but but someone is controlling me from inside. Today as you were receiving that prayer, there was something that uh, spoke out that said that it was legion, that it was a Lucifer controlling your life. What can you say about this? And can you give us some details about how this affected your daily life? When I was just a small kid, I can see, I can feel that a black figure is always following me. And I told my parents that mommy, that daddy, that uh, someone is following me. And they thought that it's just an illusion. Eh? It's not true. But uh, but uh, as soon as I was growing uh, bigger and bigger, then that thing manifested in my life. I can see him really. I can see him whenever I go to bed. Whenever I go to anywhere, I can see him. He tortures me. He comes and sleeps beside me. He pushes me. When I go to school, he... When I began my school, I was a very bright student. I uh, Every time I used to come second, but suddenly my position dropped. I came 10, 19, 20, 27 and from that and, uh, and from that time I, uh, I couldn't uh, go further in my studies. Then I wanted to go to work. Uh, I went to work for a jewelry shop and I was making jewelry there. I was just learning to ho how to make jewelry and that, thi and, and that thing stopped there. I got sick. I have to come back. I wanted to learn computer. I can't do anything in my life. I want to go to join. Uh, I want to do something else. I couldn't do. I couldn't do. I couldn't do. I wanted to get married because my parents were so uh, worried about me that Jasmine, you are grown up, and by that time, and this time you should have children, and now you are single, and then my mom was very worried about me. I wanted to get married, but I can't. Uh, whenever I thought about the marriage, the demon came and tortured my mom, my family, and the guy. And he, and he goes and tortures the guy that, uh, who wanted to marry me. So this demon that you're speaking about, does he come physically to torture you? Yeah, he comes physically. I can see him face to face. And sometimes he comes and talks to me. So can you tell us and describe for us some things that maybe the demon might have said to you in these times that you encountered him? Uh, one time, uh, I think four years ago, I was alone in my room. Eh? And uh, my cousin Tony came from America. And he said to me, Jasmine, I brought you, I have brought a support paper for you. Then I said, why? Then he, and then he said to me, I'm getting married in America. If you want, you, you can come with me to America. And after the marriage, you can come home to Fiji. Then I said, okay, I'll, I'll think about it. And that night when I was alone in my bed, and that demon came to me. And I, came, and I could see him face to face. He was standing right before me. And then he said to me, Jasmine, you want to go to America? I said, yes. Then he said, uh, who will take you to America? I said, my God will take you to America. Then he said, who is your God? Then I said, who is, uh, I mean, then I said, uh, he is Jesus. Then he said, have you forgotten what I have done to you? First time you came to America, I brought you to Fiji Island. And now again, you want to go to America? Then I said to him, yes. 
I want to go to America and I will go to America because this time I know, I know who is Jesus. Then he said to me, have you forget about your past? Then I said, God has said, forget about your past. The best days are yet to be. Then he said to me, don't you know who I am? Then I said, I don't want to know who you are because my Bible tells me that you are my defeated enemy. Then he said to me, Jasmine, forget about going to America. I can do anything to you right now. Then I said to him, no, you even can't touch me. Then he said, how? Then I said, it is written in my Bible that those who obey the Lord are daily in his care. Then he said to me, how do you know that you are daily in his care? Uh, how do you know that Jesus cares about you? I said, it is written in my Bible that God loves justice. He will never desert his faithful people. So you mean to say that you had these encounters with this evil spirit yeah. face to face? Yeah. I, ha I had an encounter with the demon face to face. And so can you tell us, how has this uh, demon destroyed your life? What kind of things has he done? At the age of 51, my father passed away and he was demon possessed too. And he was demon possessed too. And after his death, whenever I manifest, the demon talks and he tells that he is the one who killed my father. And so can you tell us what happened at the prayer line today as you were receiving that prayer with the anointing water? I believe that I have been delivered. I was so uh, I, I was praying so hard. I was fasting so hard to get delivered, to get delivered. And today I believe that God has already delivered me. No matter how how much the demon tormented me, no matter what. But I didn't give up. I didn't lose my faith. I have faith in my Jesus that one day will come. That one day will come. Every morning when I wake up, I will thank God that God one day I will be delivered. One day I'll be delivered. And today is that day. So now how do you feel after that prayer? I feel very happy. I feel very relaxed. I, I am so much happy that I can't tell you I'm so much happy. Wow, well, we thank God for this mighty deliverance that you have received today. And we ask that uh, Holy Spirit will continue to work in your life and that you will make God's word the standard for your life so that this healing, deliverance, and breakthrough will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for b bringing me here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>